Welcome to the shop everyone. Today I'm going to go over some of the modifications I did to this Holley HP 1000 CFM carburetor. Now when I was doing this build I was hoping to come up with an 830 to an 850 CFM carburetor but I ended up with a 1000. So anyways I always felt like the 1000 may have been a little bit big for this engine. So I wanted to do everything I could to make the Ventures or Booster signal as strong as I could. So these are some of the things I did to it in hope that it would help the booster signal as much as it could. So anyways, on this carburetor, first thing I had to do is get those old Ventures or Boosters knocked out. And usually to do that, I just take a punch and a ball peen hammer and I knock out the old ones. Uh, I basically used the same stuff that I used uh, for porting the intake manifold to uh, do all the radiusing and cleaning up of the carburetor. So basically the same stuff to blend everything, smooth out any casting flaws, just radius everything nice. I didn't do anything to make anything bigger, just a nice blending, bringing everything together. So also you can buy new uh, booster ventures. Uh, here's the place where I bought mine off of eBay. They're around $20 for four. And uh, you can buy these already modified if you want, but I like doing things myself. So this is sort of just, you know, I, I machine a step in the bottom. Uh, that's supposed to help atomize it a little bit better. And also to get a strong signal out of it, uh, sharpening the edge. So everything is pretty much just casted. And so to make a good, sharp, crisp line, uh, it's supposed to also increase the booster signal. So. That's how I ended up doing it. See that edge right there? That's the sharp part you want. And okay, so, you know, the Venture has been sort of what I call detailed, deburred, cleaned up, got the step in there, got the edge sharpened up there. So that's with them, you know, the outside I went around and, and just took off any casting flaws and just anyways, just cleaned them up, made them look better, spent some time on them. So now we need to install the boosters back into the carburetor and this tool here you can get around $312 out of Summit Racing. That one there is for the annual discharge boosters if I end up going that way later on. But anyways, uh, basically it just flares the end and years ago I had made my own and it worked pretty good but I'm telling you this one here works a lot better. And so you just screw it into the uh, booster and then that trims and also flares the edge to where it can't come out. See how nice that is? Does a really nice job at that. All right, so another thing when you're installing these Ventures, you wanna make sure you get that thing square and not cocked off to one side or the other. And so you put it in there and I use that tool to uh, put them in place. Now, I still use epoxy because I don't know if you guys ever took a venture, you can move it back and forth. I've used a little bit of epoxy to kind of seal them in place where they won't move. So there's them all installed in the carburetor with everything blended real nice, looking good. There's a shot from the bottom where you can see the step in the venture. All right, so well, the next thing that happened when I put this thing back together, that squirter is stripped out. And so, when I put a helio coil, there's actually two little channels in there, and that helio coil actually like filled up those channels where the gas normally would come through. So I got this uh, high flow pump nozzle, and I used it where the gas can go up through it now. And you can see there where the helio coil blocked off the channels of the uh, where the fuel used to come. So anyways, I uh, was very glad I could fix that. I had a good bit of time in this little carburetor at that point, and uh, that's how I went about fixing that. And also on the bottom of the carburetor, I'm gonna be running the super sucker, which is also supposed to give it a stronger signal. So these are the modifications I did to this Holly 1000 CFM carburetor, hoping it'll run well on that 454 and if it doesn't I thought about putting the annual discharge boosters in it We'll just have to see And so uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, please give me that like uh, Subscribe if you'd like to and as always we appreciate you guys so much for watching Thanks so much